Hello, everyone. For this shorter class, you will be grounded. Please have a mat and a strap. I'm in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and you will be focusing on hip openers. We will start in child's pose. Opening up your knees, bringing your big toes together, and picking your perfect form of child's pose. Maybe you're on your elbows. Perhaps you're relaxing your forehead down on your hands. Or it may feel nice to reach your hands out. Just let your body sink down. Focus in on your breath. Feel your chest and belly. And let your body just. We come up into tabletop, stacking hips and knees, shoulders and wrists, press down, and let's start cat and cow. Inhaling, looking ahead, exhaling and rounding up. Inhale, lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders. Exhale and round. Continue at your perfect pace. Maybe applying ujjayi breath. And that's simply when you make a ha sound when your mouth is shut. And ujjayi breath does sound like the ocean. If you want to hold cat or cow, feel free. And then return to neutral. Open up your knees and pull back into child's pose one more time. And slowly letting your hips melt towards your heels. Your mind is busy. Bring your focus back to your breath. I am inhaling. I am exhaling. Come back up onto all fours. And I'm on the nice, soft grass. However, if you are on a hard surface, I recommend patting your knees with a towel or a blanket. Go ahead and take the leg furthest from me forward. We're gonna go into a low lunge. Now notice that you're not directly on your kneecap, you're a little bit ahead. And then take your hands on your thighs, let your hip melt forward, as you tighten your glutes. Your back toes can tuck under and you'll feel a nice opening all through your hip flexor. And it may feel good to stay right here. 
You may also want to bring your hands down or to the inside of your forward foot. If you have a block or a bolster, you could place your arms on there as well. So find your perfect position, getting your hip opening, and then just retreat in. Coming back to your breath, knowing this is a commonly tight area for a lot of people. Make sure your face is soft, your breath is soft. I'm gonna stay here for just a few more breaths. Now you'll shift your bottom back Lengthen your forward leg, and this is where you could put blocks under your hands. This is called straddle. So your toes come towards your knees, or sometimes it's referred to as half splits. Your bottom comes back, and you feel the entire back of your forward leg opening. Again, you may be on your fingertips, on your blocks, but think about your forehead lengthening out to your toes. You'll keep more spinal length that way. Find a spot of focus, your drishti. Breathe. Now walk your leg back in, pull back into child's pose. Surrender in. Come back into tabletop for cat and cow. Set yourself up first. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and round. Feeling the flow of your movement. You're moving slow, intentionally, and with control. Try two more. And one more. Then you'll take the leg closest to me now and we're going to bring it forward so your knees in line with your toes and behind your toes. Remember your back knee, you're a little bit forward of your kneecap, so you're not directly on your kneecap. And perhaps you pick right here for your low lunge. So maybe start here driving your back hip forward. Hands can come down, they could come up on blocks, or they can come to the inside of your forward foot. If you're pretty open in your hips, you may be able to come all the way down to your forearms. I'd like to remind you that one position is not better than another. All of our bodies are unique, and we all have a perfect pose for our unique bodies. So finding that spot, you feel opening, but there's still a softness to your breath and your body. Now 
Now see if you can soften your mind. Sometimes that's tough. Just a few more breaths. And we're gonna shift into half splits. And again, maybe you are gonna stack pillows or blocks and come up higher. But your toe comes towards your shin and you should feel this all along the back of your leg. Think about Lengthening your forehead out. Deep breath. Now gently release, and we're gonna change positions. Have a seat. Use your abdominals to roll back. And you've got your strap by your side. Now go ahead, give both knees a nice hug in. Feel your entire spine connected with your mat. Low back, shoulders, head and neck. Everything is supported. Now with your knees together, you can stay right here or you can circle your knees up to the sky, massaging out your low back. After your next circle, switch directions. And then hold in. Now release your feet down. I've got to wipe a little sweat off here. <laughs> And I'm keeping my eyes shut because I've got the sun right above me. Now take your strap around the foot that's closest to me. And you're gonna use the strap. You can even wrap it around lightly. Use the strap to relax your lower body down. Your knee can be as bent as you would like. And you're gonna draw your leg in towards your chest to the point where you can feel it all through the back of your leg. And then maybe you lengthen out the other leg or you can leave it bent in. And just allow yourself to get heavier. You can shut your eyes. Sitting with the sensation, the back of your leg opening. Now take your leg just a little bit across your body. You may place the strap in one hand and just come across until you feel it all through the outer part of your leg. Scan your body. See what you can soften.
Now bring your leg directly up and you're gonna go the opposite, out to the side. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. Shoulders, head and neck are in contact with your mat. Feeling your inner thigh, groin area opening. Gravity is taking over. Slowly bring your leg up center. Now bend your other leg in, release. Place your strap to the side. Feet are on the ground. Just a few inches from your bum. Now lift up and hold bridge pose. You're strengthening your glutes, hamstrings, and low back. Now release down, take the same leg, so the leg that's closest to me, across, and then let it open. Your foot is flexed, and if you feel a lot of sensation in your hips, stay right there. Couple options, if you have your strap, you can loop it through and bring it around the back of the other leg, and then use it to hug in. So your knee is going away from your body and you're using the strap so you can really relax your upper body. And it may feel good to rock a little side to side or just to stay still. Now slowly release, uncross, and just lengthen both of your legs out. Notice, how does the leg feel that you just opened compared to the other? Many times, you might feel as if the leg you opened is longer. Now bend both your knees in, and we're gonna do the same series on the opposite leg. So placing the strap around your foot, lifting up, relaxing your arms down, toe towards your knee, coming towards your chest for that just right tension. Keeping your opposite knee bent in, or letting it lengthen out. Feeling the entire back of your leg opening. Again, you are supported by the ground. You're secure, safe. Settle in. Now slowly, maybe taking the strap in your other hand, come across your body slightly to where you feel it all through the side of your leg.
come back center, and then go out the opposite direction away from your midline. Opening your hip at multiple angles. We hold a lot in the hip area. Slowly bringing your leg back up. Bend your other knee in. Release your strap. Cross, flex. Take your knee away. So lying down pigeon. Staying right here. Maybe looping your strap through behind your thigh. And then drawing in. Maybe a little rock side to side or stillness. You decide. Gently release, place your strap out, give your knees another hug in. And we have one final pose, actually two final poses. Legs can be together and you can let them drop to the side or take the leg that's closest to me, cross it over, Come in and then drop away. Shoulders remain down. Again, you're gonna feel that deep in your hip. Getting a nice rotation. Shut your eyes, settle in. You have a hard time relaxing. Create a mantra, which is a saying. You can say, I am relaxed. I am at peace. My body is opening. I am relaxed. I am at peace. My body is opening. Now slowly come up, uncross, and you should need to straighten out your spine. So knees can come in and drop the other direction or take the leg furthest from me, cross it over and then drop in. You're twisting the opposite direction. Letting your body soften.
maybe saying to yourself, I am relaxed. I am at peace. My body is open. Now gently untwist. Straighten out your spine, give yourself a hug in. You can either roll to the side or rock and roll up. And go ahead and just come back to an easy seat. Perhaps elevating your hips. Palms up or palms down. Sitting tall, relaxed shoulders, shut your eyes. Just take a moment to be. Reminding yourself, it's okay if you have a lot of thoughts. Most of us do. Think about accepting yourself exactly where you are in this moment. We are always changing. We are always evolving. And where we're at in the moment is truly a blessing. So being grateful for all that you have right here, right now, even if there's a lot of stuff going on. Grateful for a body that just took you through all your hip openers. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank yourself for taking care of you. Now open your eyes. And we will end this hip opening session on the beach in Puerto Vallarta with a namaste. The light in me respects light in you. Namaste. Thank you.